Oh my god, this place looks abandoned. Oh, there's Polly. Hey, Polly, how's it going, man? Hey, Bob, long time to see. I'm good, I'm good. What happened to this place? It looks like a scene from Jurassic Park, man. Well, business has been slow lately. What brings you here, Bob? Hey, I came to visit your salvage yard because you wouldn't believe it, but there's a guy in Europe who does these die-cast restoration videos. He reached out to me because he needs parts for one of his videos. What? So I'm reaching out to you, man. You still have your three Lambo Hurricane? Yes, of course. What does he need? It ain't gonna be cheap, you know? Well, basically, engine, interior, lights, wheels, everything except the outer shell. Why does he want so many parts? He might as well be buying a new car at this point, to be honest. Yeah, but you know how it works. The guy finds completely by coincidence a Maisto Hurricane buried in his backyard while doing some gardening. And most of the time the car is trashed beyond repairs, so he needs spare parts. And that's where you come into play. Is he paying good money for that? How about enough money to rebuild your garage and company? Will that be enough? Well, that's a good plan. Now let's get the Lambos out and start the uh, disassembling process. Okay, okay. No problem. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not here today to bash on these diecast restoration videos. In fact, I love them very much. I watch them all the time. They're a great source of information on how to disassemble or reassemble a particular diecast. But I always felt that something was off with these videos, mostly the introduction and the state of decay of the diecast. So you see, in reality, diecast cars are made of a non-ferrous metal called Zamac, so it doesn't rust. When you look at my Lambos, they've been really abandoned in my backyard for almost three years. The paint is still clean. Everything else is filled with dirt, insect, and vegetation, but can be cleaned up and put back together in another car. So when this guy reached out to me, asking for parts for his project, I was like, ha ha, I knew it, man. I knew it was impossible to rebuild that interior. He saw my three Lambos in one of my videos about the salvage yard. So I said to him, I'm gonna clean up these cars, disassemble them, and send you the parts you need. So here we go. The first step will be to assess the damage and figure out what part can be salvaged. So for that, I have to unscrew all the cars and take it apart, check for damage. As you can see here, plastic parts are still intact and in very good condition. They're all filled up with dirt, but that can be cleaned up later. The only parts that can really rust on a diecast are the screws and the uh, coil suspension. This one is the most damaged of the bunch, just because there's a lot of vegetation that grew inside of it. So it's gonna be a challenge to open. So let's be very careful with it. Very careful. Ugh. Now it's time to choose which engine I will keep. Oh, 
Zeit direkt, ne? Now it's time to check which interior I will keep and clean up. Now that everything is getting packed and ready to ship to Europe, let's go back to Paulians and see what's going on with his salvage yard. What is the other reason you came here today? The second reason I came is that folks on YouTube wanted me to do an update on your salvage yard. So why don't you show me around? Well, okay, there's not much to see around, but uh, whatever. Come on, I'll show you. So here we are. I still have my Maserati Spider. It's still missing a windshield, but uh, otherwise it's in great condition, you know? Uh, the interior is intact. It's got four wheels, you know? It's good car. Incredible. How many years was it left outside? It's been outside since 2019, I guess. Wow, incredible. So that's what an abandoned car looked like. It's not abandoned. It's a great running car. It needs a few parts, but it will it go. It needs an enough. entire windshield assembly, Polly. It's wasted. It can still be rescued. <laughs> All right. What else you got? Well, I got this uh, Plymouth Barracuda. I don't remember the year, but uh, I remember I got it for cheap because it was missing a tire. But uh, after repairing the tires, well, the, uh, the engine breaks. So uh, it's been... Uh, it's been out there uh, for quite some time now. Can we still salvage the engine? Oh, absolutely. You can, uh, you can, uh, yes, yes, absolutely. You still have that 57 Corvette? Yes, I still have it. Where is it? 
It's in the garage right there. I'm keeping this car because I want to do a custom build, you know, with a big engine and big tires, but uh, never got the time to uh, get around to it. So it's there. That's really sad, Paulie. Really.